Okay, I'm having a look at the general maths paper uh, from 2023, and this is paper two. Now I'm looking in this video at question two, and I have another video that goes through question one, and we'll be working through the paper if you want to check out the other questions. So question number two is a seasonal index question. We've been given some data for two years, the seasons, and we need to go through and de-seasonalize the data. So quite a long question. Um, and we'll just work our way through it. So first step, we need to find the average for each year. So we're gonna add those four numbers together and then divide by four. So for this row, we're gonna get 242 when we add them together and divide by four. And for this row, we're gonna get 215 when we add them together and divide by four. The next step is to then find the seasonal index for each of those. So for 2021, for summer, for autumn, winter, spring and summer and for 2022. Now to get that we're going to grab our uh, value for autumn and divide it by the average. So for the first one when we do 285 divided by 242 we get 1.1776. When we do 28 divided by 242 we get 0 0.1157. When we do 195 divided by 242 we get 0 0.8051 and when we get do 460 divided by 242, we get uh, 1.9008. For 2022, when we do 276 divided by 215, we get 1.2837. When we do 22 divided by 215, we get 0 0.105, uh, 1023, sorry. Uh, when we do 170 divided by 215, we get 0 0.7907. And when we do 392 divided by 215, we get 1.8232. Then we want the averages of each of those. So we're going to add the two together and divide by two. So we get 1.23065, we get 0 0.109, we get 0 0.7982, and we get 1.862 when we work those ones out. Then we want to go to each of these values to de-seasonalize it. We're going to grab that number and divide by one by the seasonal index. So then we can start again, 2021, 2022, autumn, winter, spring, summer. And so we'll get our um, value for autumn, divide by 1.23065. So when we Okay, so we'll grab our 285, divide that by 1.23065, and we get 231.58. So I'm going to round that to 232. Then I'm going to get my 28, and I'm going to divide that by 0 0.109, and that gives me 256.88, so I'm going to round that to 257. Then I'm going to get my 195, and I'm going to divide that by 0.7982 and that gives me 244.29, so I'll round that to 244. Then I'll get the 460 and divide that by 1.862 and I get 247.04, so I'm just gonna round that to 247. Then for the next row, 276 divided by 1.23065 and I get 224.27, so I'm gonna round that to 224. My 22 divided by 0 0.109 gives me 201.83, so I'm going to round that to 202. The reason I'm rounding them to whole numbers is because my table was whole numbers and we were talking about skin wounds per animal, so that was a whole number. Uh, then we've got our 170 divided by the 0.7982 and we get 212.9, so we're going to round that to 213. And then last one we get is our 392 divided by 1.862 and that gives us 210.52 so we round that to 211. Now you will need to make sure you put in some information about how you were doing those calculations so maybe put a sample one that you worked out. It's worth four marks so uh, one mark is allocated for those averages per year uh, and then we've got the other marks allocated down so um, I think there was one for the um, index for each one, one for the averages and one for the deseasonalized data.